Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new Java tutorial. So in today's tutorial we're going to carry on with what we did last time. We simply made it so when we click submit um, if we type in the correct username and password which is actually beyond me at the moment we need to go and find what that is in a minute but it will tell us that if we've logged in or if we've failed and we do not know the login name. That is my college project so we can get rid of that. Uh, save yes. Ignore that bad mistake and then I'm going to double click the submit button and you can see it's YouTube and is awesome for our password so in here we're going to type YouTube and is awesome submit you are logged in perfect so today we're going to make it open a new form JFrame it's not a form on here JFrame really really simple so we haven't looked at it yet but imagine every single thing we create buttons text boxes labels j forms they're all counters we'll say an object just for now they all technically do but we'll say an object so your ram which is basically your computer's brain uses stuff like this to store it so labels text boxes buttons and everything will take up microscopic amounts of data it's probably not even a byte probably tiniest bit a whole application might take up a well, our application won't probably won't even take up a megabyte, but still. Um, so every little thing takes up a tiny bit of this RAM. And all this RAM is basically your computer's memory kind of thing. So how much it remembers at the time. So when you're reading a book, you're re remembering how to use English and you're reading it. Or whatever language you are. I don't know. There's that many. I can't list them all. But still. So uh, when a JFrame opens, we're creating a new one, a new slot in this RAM for our form. So what we need to do is basically say create a new slot. We're going to give that slot a name. So at the moment this one's called main. But when we create a new one, we'll call it whatever we want. And then every time we want to access it, we'll just say um, search for main. It'll pull this variable out and give it us. So we're going to create a new JFrame. You probably didn't need to know any of that, but it's good to know. So if we right click on default, well, source packages, new JFrame form. And in here, we'll just call this uh, main underscore menu. And then we'll click finish. And it'll create a new JFrame, and it's probably in there. Perfect. So just to see if it's worked, we'll grab button, and we'll place it here. And then you get to watch me failingly attempt to spell Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi? I'll even keep the question mark there. But yeah. So as you can see we have a failing attempt at it but hey so what we're going to try and do is build up here over the weeks or whatever a Tamagotchi kind system I might be wrong there but where you've got a little thing and you have to take care of it every time you do something it takes your energy down if it gets energy to zero you kill your Tamagotchi and you need to feed it you need to do this stuff really really cool basic and it's not been done before well what I know in tutorials but it's really simple. So we've got Tamagotchi, and we'll also add a quit button just down here. So we'll type here, quit. Just like that. So now we need to open this form. Really simple to do, like seriously simple. So if we double click our submit button, it takes us to here. So where it says you are logged in, we're going to change it. So below it, once it said you are logged in, it's going to open our form for us. So just like I said we have to create the variable or create the slot in the RAM, you first list what type it is. You may have heard of integers, strings, floats before. Same thing, but we're going to type in main menu. And it's main menu because that's the name. You can call it anything you like. Call it game, call it um, nutty grain honey bar because I've got a wrapper right in front of me. Call it whatever you like. But as long as it's called the same. So main menu, then we're going to give it a name. So we'll type open frame. And then you're going to put equals. So you're setting what open frame equals. New main menu. And then what that'll do is create a new open frame. So a new main menu frame in the RAM called open frame. Then it'll set it to a blank main menu. So if we've already got one open, it won't select that one. It'll create a black brand new one and then finally what we do is just put an open bracket close bracket semicolon and what that'll do is create a new slot in the RAM and um, you may have heard the term um, this language requires you to um, dedicate pieces of RAM to everything 
and other languages do not tell you that. It all does it. When you type in string, when you type in int, when you type in anything, it's dedicating RAM. Don't get worried about it. I did myself. I was like, oh my, this is going to be so much harder. It's that simple, really, honestly. It's just a scare tactic, really. But that will... So, what we need to do now is actually make it show it on screen. So we've dedicated that part of the RAM to it. But that's all we've done. So we've named the baby, but we've never seen the baby before. So we need to... That's the baddest example ever. But we need to go and see the form. We need to make it do something so we can use it, see it, whatever. So it's really simple. All we're going to do is type the name of the variable we created for it. So open frame is the name of it. And you'll hear me reference the word variable quite a lot. And you'll discover variables later. They are the greatest thing to programming ever. You'll wait. But we're going to type dot. Now in some languages it's visible, um, show, whatever. But in Java it's really simple. All you type is set, lowercase s, and visible. Just like that. If I can zoom in, I can't zoom in. That's the bad thing. Oh, wait. I'm doing it. Yes. There. So, main menu, open frame, equals new main menu. Open frame, which we created, dot set visible. And you do not have to type that. Please don't type that. You simply type true. Like so. So that will basically set the visibility of it to true. So we can now see the baby. Woohoo! So, if we set it to false, you couldn't see it, obviously. So let's try it. Really simple, right? Hopefully. Let's see. So we type in YouTube. And then because I'm a cheat, I've got is awesome copied and pasted. So we click submit. Tamagotchi, we've done it. Everybody's going wild. Perfect, right? So next lesson, we're going to make that open. Then we're going to give our little egg there. So we'll start making it. So you have to put some hay under it, warm it up. I don't know. Whatever you do for a Tamagotchi. Never used one before. Um, let the rage war start below. But hey, quit doesn't do anything. But if we cross it off, it gets rid of it. If you follow my other tutorials, you know that cross off thing doesn't work on Visual Studio. You have to put some excess code into it. But here, it's brilliant. I'm personally more fan of C sharp, but I really don't know why at times. But hey, so that works perfect, correct? So thank you for watching. I really, really hope you liked it. Please thumbs up if you did. Um, Facebook and Twitter below, get any issues, comment below, um, if I can find the code again I'll show you, wrong one, that one, really really simple code, sorry for all the wacky colours all the time and everything, I need to fix that quickly, but thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.